grade, have the most respect for uh, in the world. And he makes you better, you know, when you're preparing and, and you're watching film on their team and just how they get better throughout the year. Um, he makes me better. He makes our guys better. And I think that's what you saw. Like our guys knew they had to be on it today if the, we had a chance to win. And I thought our defensive effort was phenomenal. Um, like they're averaging like 75 and to hold them to 56 and to win a toughness game and to win ugly and to win with your defense. Um, that was phenomenal. Ben, you talked about how fearless Cam is. What moments in particular did jump out to you as, as examples of that tonight? Just everything he does, you know. Um, but I've seen it. Like, I, I, I've seen it in high school. Like, I just – he's one of those guys, when you see it, you know it. And not everybody has that um, innate kind of instinct to them. Um, but – he does whatever that it is like he's got that just not fear the moment doesn't isn't scared to fail wants the ball wants the shot you know obviously this came out he won't admit it but it's probably a little personal to him just with his brother and the fact that you know I think I thought last game he was going to have a hell of a game I could just tell he had juice and he got in that foul trouble and I know that's been eating at him since last game um but you know he's a he's a stud and rose up and hit a couple big shots that we needed um but I think his confidence and Elijah's confidence impact our team. Like you're seeing a much more confident Pharrell and Dawson even and Braden and Mike. Well, they get it from those two guys, and, and you have to have that in your team. I want those guys to have that competitive ego. You know, an hour when you win, expect to play well, right? Expect to have outcomes like this, especially at home, when you're just going to figure it out and find a way to win. You touched on this yesterday, but another example of your team being able to problem solve? Yeah, I think it was, you know. Um, I thought the first half we were we couldn't get a shot to fall. You know, I have to look on film to see how many of them were, were bad ones. Um, I thought we played a little tight. I thought we, we were a little wound up and we weren't our natural self. But, yeah, it was still, I think, a, what, a five-point game. And so we just talked about it at halftime. You know, we got we to gotta play loose. Like, I, I, the, you got to let them hang a little bit. You got to play loose. And, and they did that. And... Um, you know, when you when you play free and you just worry about effort, um, I think the offense will come. But this was a game where we knew because of how they defend and how they guard that we're gonna have to win with our defense, and um, and we did that. And I think we ended up out rebounding them after being down four at halftime, which is a big part. Um, you know, was able to get to the free throw line and convert in the second half, which was big, um, especially when you've got like a one or two point lead um, to be able to maintain that lead or to, to to tie it or to go up one was huge. How much uh, was Parker's energy uh, in the first half? No, it was great. It was great. Um, you know, he came in, and um, that's what he does. You know, it's it's you try to find minutes for him, and it's just it's hard when you've got uh, so many bigs that can that can do stuff and, and perform, especially when you know Dawson and Pharrell are playing at such a high level. But um, I have all the confidence in the world in, in Parker, and so I just know uh, when I could put him in there, whether it's for whatever he played 18 minutes today. Um, or if it's five minutes, you know, he's going to do what he does. And he's, he, he keeps our offense moving. He's smart. So defensively, he's going to make adjustments on his own. Um, but, you know, I thought the lift and the energy he had, and again, he's another confidence guy. When he's out there, I think guys have confidence in our offense because he keeps the ball moving. Um, guys have confidence in our defense because he's a communicator. And so um, the more guys you can have out there that other players look at and they gain confidence from, I think that's a sign of a, of a team that's really improving and growing. You mentioned, you know, Cam's confidence, but did you expect him to be kind of where he is even – Right now, you know, kind of hitting those big shots, taking those big shots. Moments. I did. So people probably thought I was crazy in the Missouri game, right? And now you guys are understanding why I did it. Because I've, I've seen it. I've seen it in the summer and I've seen it in the fall. Um, that's who he is. And so, you know, yeah, when I drew those two plays up for him, or that one really and the other one was a read, but when I drew that one play up for him, like, because of this, that's, that's who he is. And, um, you know, I think, again, when you put in that much work that he does, um, these results don't surprise people that see him every day. Tonight, you talked about the, the crowd, but is tonight a reminder of what this building can be? A hundred percent. One of the one of the uh, somebody uh, involved in the game um, came up to me and said, you know, they've been here a lot of times uh, and they hadn't seen it like this. There's just again with the energy and the buzz and the people, and. Um, 
I think that's a testament to these guys. Like when you when you play a fun style and you're competitive and you can win, um, the fans will eventually show up and come. And um, again, credit to the ones that have been here from day one. Um, but it 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 just makes such a difference when it's an environment like like it was tonight. Um, I, I just can't I cannot reiterate that enough. Ben, you're up to six Big Ten wins now, and you've your first two seasons you had six wins combined. So what does that say just about the direction where this program could be headed? Yeah, so we're growing. You know, we're 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 process driven. We're growing. Um, credit to these guys because they've developed and they've they've gotten better. Um, Again, you know, last year we took our lumps and we were young and we played young guys probably because we had to. Well, you know, you got to kind of get through the suck, but this is the benefit of it because those guys aren't really sophomores. They've experienced so much and they've been through so much. And so now I think you're seeing mature sophomores. You're seeing a Dawson that's been in a program for the first time ever back to back years with the same coach. Um, you're seeing an older Isaiah and Parker who've been in our program for two years that are now able to rise up. And you're, you're bringing transfers in now that are older that have been through it, but now understand it. And so I just think it's a credit to those guys, you know, allowing us to coach them every day. And they have no ego. I mean, there's, they, they, you tell them to do something, they're going to do it. And, um, and they believe, and they believe in each other. They believe in what we're doing. And as long as we can stay process driven and worry about the details and not get lost in our way and stay grounded and understand who we are, I, think I like our chances. Ben, I've got to ask you, obviously growing up as a Minnesota kid, playing here, being an assistant coach here, you just alluded to you know, Tom Izzo being an absolute legend. How, like, what would 12-year-old Ben Johnson think about you beating Tom Izzo right now? And how do you personally feel about this? <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll say this, um, you know, it was a little weird when you know a guy for so long, right? And, and he actually recruited me twice. He recruited me out of high school. And then when I transferred, I took a visit there before I committed here and he recruited me again. Um, and then when I was a, a GA, my first job was with Brian Gregory, who's one of his best friends. So in a weird way, I've, you know, what he does and what they do as a program, you know, I've always kind of modeled kind of myself after that a little bit. Um, obviously, I know it works, and I've seen it firsthand. Um, so to be able to compete against him, I think it just – I'm appreciative because it makes me better. You know, all these guys in this league um, make me so much better, and I've grown each year as a, as a younger coach. And to be able to lean on them and talk to these guys and ask questions and pick their brain and for them to give me feedback, um, never claim at all to have all the answers. So to be able to test myself against these guys and against a coach like him, um, again, I'm just thankful for it because it, it's made me grow as a coach and as a man and as a leader. Why did you say no to him? Uh, well, the first time, um, I think he wanted me to red shirt and I wanted to play. They were loaded and I wanted to play um, right away. I didn't have the patience like most young kids. Um, so that was, and then, you know, honestly, the second time I was there for a weekend and Brian Gregory, the, guy, the coach that recruited me to Northwestern was still an assistant there. And, um, and we talked and I was close and, and he actually told me to come here. To be honest, I probably was going to come here anyways, um, but no, that was it. He said, um, you know, you need to do the right thing, and, and that's to go back home and, and go to Minnesota. So. In the second half, I think you guys were down nine. I think there was a tie up there. What was kind of the message there to you guys? Yeah, we just needed to regroup, you know. Um, I thought we were kind of got, got kind of sped up, and it was one. It was a regroup timeout. It was a timeout because I felt like that momentum was on their side, and we needed to, to dead the momentum. And then we had to have a good possession defensively and offensively. So it gives you a chance to talk about, make sure defensive coverages were right. And then we had to get a good shot. So now it's dialing up something where everybody's on the on the same page, and it's like, all right, we we get a score here, we're good. And just to kind of re-energize those guys with confidence about you know just score, stop, score, stop. From your guys in the huddle, body language. No, it's been phenomenal. Yeah, no, it's been. We talk about being a mature team all the time, and especially in the second half, our, our timeouts and huddles have been phenomenal. Um, the amount of belief and faith, uh, it's a little scary because it's almost like, all right, fellas, like I still want urgency now. Um, but they just, they believe they're going to figure it out. They believe they're going to find a way. There's never a doubt. I mean, it's from Dawson on down to Will Ramberg. Like, Everybody believes, everybody's dialed in, everybody's, you know, looking and focused and asking questions and making sure they break the huddle and everybody's on the same page. And I think that's just a product of winning. 
like now there's an expectation, which is what we talk about, a standard. Now there's an expectation of, of performing well. There's an expectation of figuring this out and, and being able to stay connected and being able to get third win in a row. And, um, and when you're like that, there is a good urgency to it, and, and guys are just locked in. Ben, how are you planning on keeping momentum going into Iowa, into Purdue? First of all, I'm going to enjoy this one. I think that game's on Thursday. So uh, I'm going to finally enjoy one here. And then, um, you know, we got we to gotta regroup and figure out Iowa. Obviously, they're a really good team that can score. I mean, they're, they're a totally different team at home, too. Like, you got to almost be 10 points better with them. That's a tough place to play. So we're going to definitely enjoy this. Um, give the guys a day off, and then we'll get back to, get back to our process. Thanks, folks. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank Congratulations. You. Uh, yeah, no. Nah, I mean, it was a it was a, a ton of fun to be able to to play in that game. Obviously, you know they're they're a great program. They've been a historically great program. So you know it's always it's always a tough game to play against them. And then you know just my brother um, playing there a few years ago just added to it. Uh, I know a lot of the guys that you know that played. You know they were all on the team when when Max was there too. So it was just a it was a it was a really fun game, a really great environment. You know, I'm just really happy that you know we were able to pull out the win. How much did falling out of that game a few weeks ago fuel you? Uh, no, I mean, it, it definitely fueled me. You know, I went into that game, um, you know, with a chip on my shoulder, excited to play there. And then, unfortunately, you know, it got cut short due to me fouling out. So, obviously, you know, I, I had to make some adjustments, you know, you know, make sure not to not to foul out this game again because that would have been tragic. And then, um, you know, just just play, you know, do what I do best. So, Parker, when you see the uh, energy from the crowd early on in this game, you're part of that. How did you, like, overcome the, the stretches where you guys obviously lost the momentum a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I mean, if anybody watches me play basketball, you can tell it feels me. You know, it's uh, I'm I'm an emotional guy. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and uh, I play with a lot of emotion. And um, but I think that benefits me in in the best way. You know, I, you know, feed off that crowd. You know, I was I was a person in that crowd. You know, get three four years ago even coming to basketball games and um, getting hyped for the team and, and giving them energy. And um, I just I'd love to give that back. You know, I think it's it's so much bigger than me. It's so much bigger than you know our team. Um, it's, it's the reason why I came here. You know, it's the reason why I decided to come back home and um, you know build something special. And um, the more people we get in the doors, the better because this is uh, this is a good feeling right now. What does it mean to be on the winning? side of these out these games you know I know earlier in the season you guys had some tough losses but what does it mean to persevere and finally get over the hump yeah I mean my third year here now and um, the first two years were you know tougher we didn't we didn't win many games and um, you know you go in that locker room and you know it, it sucks like losing is the worst you know and um, you know now we're kind of you know got a couple games on the other side of that and um, you know it's 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 one of the greatest feelings in the world you know I think um, you know, when, when you go in that locker room and uh, you just see the emotion from the guys and um, you realize like you're all in this together and it's, and it's one big fight and we're pushing towards one common goal. Um, you just see guys, you know, like I get excited for this guy, you know, I, you know, he has, I don't even know what he had in that 17, something like that. You know, it just, I get excited for him because, you know, I, I knew that this one meant something to him. And then, you know, I get excited for a guy like, you know, Pharrell Payne who has a big game and, you know, Dawson Garcia made a big three down the stretch. Like, you know, just getting excited for, for the guys on your left and to your right. And it's just, um, you know, I think that's the way you have to approach it. Perky, you talk about the locker room. What is it kind of the wrestling belt meant to kind of have that tradition now? Yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. You know, you look at um, a lot of programs, you know, the NBA, they give game balls, that kind of stuff. You see that all the time. Um, I like the way we've kind of approached it with the, the wrestling belt, the warrior belt. Um, because it's not necessarily about how many points you scored. It's not necessarily about how many rebounds you had. It's, you know, who kind of stepped up. And, and I think every game you can kind of tell who's going to win that one. You know, I think it's, uh, for me at least, you know, being a part of it, I can tell, you know, who's going to win that one. You could tell this guy was going to win it today just the way he stepped up, made big shots down the stretch for us. And, um, you know, I think it's a cool way to kind of uh, celebrate who was kind of that warrior for us because that's what we want to be. You know, we want to be that tough team, um, that team that's full with a bunch of warriors. And um, I feel like if we can do that, we can continue to win ball games. Kim, can you talk about your confidence level? It seemed like tonight you made big shot after big shot, and then when your team needed it most, they called some plays for you. What's it like being that freshman that they're calling on right now? 
Uh, you know, it's a it's a great feeling. You know, obviously these are these are moments, these are games that you dream of playing. And as a kid, you know, playing in high level Big Ten basketball against a team like Michigan State, you know, these are things that you really wish for. And so, you know, when the when the moment comes, you know, you, you can't let it be too big. You know, you've, you've worked too hard to to be nervous. So just go, just knowing to go in there, um, you know, believe in myself, trust in myself. Obviously, you know, my teammates trust in me, my coaches trust in me, and it, you know, it means a lot to to have them, you know, backing me and things like that. So, you know, just just remaining confident with every single shot and knowing that no matter what happens, you know, I have a, a family behind me that supports me. Parker, Parker, were there any moments where you saw Cam's fearlessness, maybe winner's week or off some workouts, anything like that that you kind of your eyes? Yeah, I, I see it every day. You know, I, I think just the way he approaches um, everything he does, you know, forget about basketball, the way he approaches life, um, you know, the way the kind of dude he is off the court, the kind of dude he is when, you know, he's he's hanging out with us in the dorms and all that kind of stuff. Like, I think, I truly believe that good things happen to good people, and, you know, he's a good dude, and he, he goes about it the right way. Um, he approaches it the right way. He cares about his teammates. Um, he, he passes up shots for other guys, you know, to score. Um, and then when the moment comes, he, he makes big shots, you know, like, I feel like when Cam Christie's shooting a shot down the stretch, it's going in, and then there's no way it's, it's going to even touch the rim it's just straight cash so um you know i think the way he's approached it with his work and you know he's a guy that's relentlessly in the gym um we're, we're we're a team with a group full of guys that are relentlessly in the gym but he's you know he's one of the guys that leads it and um you know i'm just i'm proud and happy for him you feel like that three that you took was going in i did honestly yeah <laughs> i don't know if, i don't know if dave thorson would love that one but uh, uh i feel like uh you know that, that one was like you know I'm, I'm playing in the flow i got a, I'm getting a good big block and you know playing with flow and i caught it in rhythm and, and shot it and you know i I've worked on my game for a, lot, a long time now, and I, you know, I thought it was cash, but unfortunately, we just get back on defense. Wait for the next one. <laughs> talk a lot about Elijah's uh, winning uh, history. Yeah. You, you won, obviously, in Division Two. I mean, I know it's a different level, mm -hmm. but do you s sense anything about this team that you can see that you know there's a win winner's mentality there? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's weird because I think there's a stat that came out that said we're last in the Big Ten in, in first half, and we're first in the Big Ten in second half uh, point differential. Um, I remember a lot of my times at Northern uh, being in the locker room. I mean, maybe it was a close game. Maybe we were down two and just, like, feeling, oh, we're going to win this game. And I had that same feeling today. You know, I've had that same feeling, you know, the last couple games. And it's like we just – it's it's that kind of – that fight – that we're going to do whatever it takes to win the basketball game. And if, you know, if we come up short and, you know, they have more points than we do, then, you know, you, you tip your cap to them and you get back to work for the next one. But, you know, I just feel like we got a group of guys that uh, want to go out there and play for one another, and, and that's when it becomes a, you know, really beautiful thing. Cam, it seems like, uh, you know, you're finding your groove more and more every game. And the coach was talking yesterday about defensively, too, kind of how you've been able to adjust, you know, Big Ten and the physicality, I guess. Kind of just all around, how do you feel about where your game's at right um, you know, I feel I feel confident. You know, I've as I said uh, in a in an earlier time up here. You know, it's just you know remaining confident in all the work that you put in, no matter what happens. You know, you have a you have a great game, you have a bad game. It doesn't matter. You have to stay at the same level. You ne can never get too high or too low because every single time, you know, it's a it's a new game every single every single time. So just you know being able to to adapt and adjust and things like that. Obviously, defense is a big big part of basketball. You have to be able to play both sides of the ball. And defense carries. You know, no matter how how well you're playing on the offensive end, no, how many no matter how many points you're scoring. Um, Defense is always something that you can rely on. It brings a lot of energy to the team. So that's uh, that's been something I've definitely focused on recently. But, you know, just trying to improve all aspects of my game, you know, just doing whatever it takes to, to help the team win. Were either of you, well, how about the crowd tonight? I mean, what kind of look did that guys give you? The barn yard, they had the gold jerseys out. The place was going nuts down the, down the stretch. You guys are 13 and 3 at home this season. Just what kind of look did they give you guys tonight? Yeah, I mean, this is like this is what I, you know, come to expect from from Gopher basketball. You know, growing up, being a part of it, you know, being a being a fan, it's like, you know, this is what you want. And, and then as a player, like selfishly, you, you want more and you want more. And it's like, you know, um, you got to, but you got to win games. And, and you know, you got to keep putting yourself in position where people want to come watch you play. Um, but it was pretty loud tonight. Um, I think probably one of the loudest that I've I've heard. Um, and then at the right times, too, you know, getting behind us on the defensive end and um, you know cheering for big blocks and rebounds and. Um, you know, I, I think basketball is a, a pretty important thing in the state of Minnesota, and um, you know, I'm hoping it continues, and I'm hoping we continue to get more fans in the crowd and um, continue to cheer us on because I think that you know, and I'll say, I said it before, I'll say it again. You know, I think the barn is one of the most special places in college basketball, especially when the crowd's behind it. Parker, I've got to ask you. I mean, you obviously had energy sitting on the bench being injured. Then you had energy off the bench, and now you're really making changes in the game. And you're actually being talked about on Michigan State boards right now as just being fantastic. How have you How have you never let any of these losses or anything get you down? Because you've always been that spark for this team. Yeah, I mean, I, th I just think that I've gone through so much, you know, 
so much worse than than you know you know not playing minutes and and you know worrying about myself and you know putting my head down and you know blaming it on something else like I, I've been through way worse and I've worked too hard to let that kind of stuff kind of deteriorate my attitude and uh, you know my approach um, and that's you know that's not even to basketball that's a, to life you know the way you the way you approach life and um, you know and being able to kind of see it pay off is pretty sweet you know I grew up, like you guys know I love basketball you know I love the Big Ten like the fact that Tom Lizzo looks me in the eyes and tells me like I made an impact like that's like the biggest thing in the world you know like all the respect to him and, and their program um, but you know I think just coming out there and just being myself and just you know authentically being who I am and um, you know trusting my teammates and um, you know just being able to to just be me and and go and have fun with it and I think if you watch me play you, you can tell that I have a lot of fun doing it because it's it's my favorite thing in the world all right thanks guys